Right now, Hurricane Francine just making landfall as a Category 2 hurricane. Winds right now 100, mi 100 miles per hour, and it's moving to the northeast at 17 miles per hour. And it just made landfall here along the southern coast of Louisiana. In fact, the parish of Terrebonne there, that's 30 miles south-southwest of Morgan City. This will continue to push inland, but you can see all of the heavy rain associated with this storm right now impacting parts of Louisiana, New Orleans, up into parts of Mississippi and Alabama as well. As this continues to track up to the north, it will bring heavy rain and gusty winds pushing farther inland. Wind gusts right now 35 to 55, 60 miles per hour as that just hit shore. And as this pushes inland overnight and early tomorrow, on a weakening trend, but we're tracking the rain and the remnants of Francine as this gets closer to us as we head into our weekend. Will we see any rain out of this? We'll talk about the timing coming up in just a few minutes, guys. Cheryl. And that's because a lot of that from wildfire smoke being transported in the upper levels of the atmosphere. It's also a very hot day as we sit at 86 degrees, but we are tracking that smoke moving in from the north and west. And as we go into the next 24 hours, we'll still have some of that smoke present in the upper levels and then as we go into our Friday the weekend that begins to clear out but also we'll be pushing in some cloud cover as well so a little bit hazy out there today's high 86 degrees that is about 10 degrees above average and we stay above average we've been talking about that the average 77 degrees outside right now upper 70s and mid 80s midway at 86 Merrillville you're sitting at 83 Aurora 84 degrees the summer like feel we're holding on to it and take a look at the next 10 days. This will be a focus for us as we go into the long range forecast. You can see us holding on each and every day to our temperatures in the 80s and that is well above average even on Monday going back up close to near 90. Tuesday of next week 86. So if you want that summer like feel to stick around well then this is the forecast for you. Now we're talking about our rain chances as well. We are honing in on the weekend. The possibility of some isolated showers not not out of the question and we are very dry we could take some rain we are below average certainly in terms of precipitation especially for this month satellite and radar the latest hurricane francine making landfall basically just minutes ago right along the coast here of louisiana located 30 miles south southwest there of morgan city this is moving to the northeast at about 15 to 20 miles per hour sustained winds right now at 100 so a cat two currently now as this continues to push inland, it's going to weaken. But with that said, still a very strong storm. And you can see the heavy rain associated with this, even a tornado watch box um, issued for parts of Louisiana as well as Mississippi here. And this rain will continue to lift up and inland. So flooding a huge threat as well as storm surge right along the coast. Winds gusty in this area up to about 40 to 60 miles per hour. In fact, you can see Patterson there, a wind gust up to about 62 miles miles per hour as that made landfall. Tracking this, like I said, it's going to weaken overnight and into early tomorrow. And then the remnants of Francine will be pushing inland up the lower Mississippi River Valley. As we take a look at that rain shield, you can see a lot of that continuing to run into drier air. So the showers and the rain diminishing here. But as we go Saturday into Sunday, it does appear in some models keep some of that rain moving, pushing farther to the north. So the possibility of some showers not out of the question as we head through our weekend. A little bit of a closer view tomorrow. We are dry as we head into our Friday. Clouds on the increase. Rain staying primarily to the south of us into Saturday. Again, another mainly rain-free day, but then those showers getting very close as we head into our Sunday afternoon. So a passing shower or two, but most of our weekend will come in mostly cloudy because of that storm system pushing up into our area. Not a whole lot of rain expected out of it either. So for tonight, we are looking quiet, comfortable. Temperatures falling into the 50s and 60s across the area. Hot and dry on our Thursday. Temperatures a bit cooler, but